even trying to compete with these people. Because at the end of the day, people, us people, or even us Filipino, want to be competitive, Mr. and Madam Chair, because we want for people to know and that we engage as a Filipino or just a simple being, we want to know that we listen to the global stage and that we really realize what really is happening, Mr. and Madam Chair. So, first, let me go to my rebuttals, Mr. and Madam Chair. The, the opposition side is very much is very much affected with human rights and we really see that point. However, what really is the distortion of human rights if we really proceed with globalization, Mr. and Madam Chair? There is none, Madam Chair, because at the end of the day, globalization appears to the both parties of, of human rights, Mr. and Madam Chair. And even we didn't even point pinpoint that as an enemy for our for our for our side, Mr. and Madam Chair. They're also telling us that it would affect values or even globalization will affect values, Mr. and Madam Chair. With each in our point, Mr. and Madam Chair, we are telling them or we want those values, like we want those people to want to be motivated, to be to be more empowered, Mr. and Madam Chair. So now, why um my first argument is that why should we really pursue with globalization, Mr. Madam Chair, rather just relying on this Asian values? First is that for an individual to be globally competitive, just like what my example, Mr. Madam Chair, that why are we here? Because we are trying to tell people that we listen, we understand, and we are trying to engage with the world. Why are we even talking or why are we even talking? We're not our debates on other places. It is because at the end of the day, we are globally person, Mr. Adam Chair. We should not limit the opportunities of this individual for the global stage, Mr. Adam Chair. For this, because of this, the really harmful effects for their paradigm will be this. Growth, growth more competition will stop and, and knowledge will, will really, will really stabilize. The example of this and the very much strong example for this is why are we going to test us? I can just even fix my car. I can just even fix my car having such experience and really go abroad. I really go abroad. Will not is not happening because we have standards. Globally, I global stage have standards, Madam Chair. And because of that standard, we as an individual are trying to be good, Madam Chair. We are really trying to understand and we are really uplifting and really and really um and really Mr. 
Eastern Madam shares. Does the researcher have the mentality when I do such research to really isolate such research just for my country, Mr. Madam Chair? No, for example, I am a researcher who really wants to find a cure for cancer, Mr. Madam Chair. Then if you have to what if I found the cure for cancer, isn't it good? Then why would I really isolate such thing, such development, or such discovery for the whole for the whole global stage, Mr. Madam Chair. You see, we are getting developed, Mr. Madam Chair, because of the culture that is created within us from the global stage, Mr. and Madam Chair. So at the end of the day, what the government is trying to say is that, us, is that we are not just Filipinos. We are not just ASEAN members, people. We are a global member person. And that's the reason why we should uphold I proudly propose. Thank you.